Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fashion, Beauty, and Wine. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make mulled wine. So if you'd like in on this delicious recipe, then stick around and keep watching the rest of this video. To begin, you'll need a bottle of full-bodied red wine. In my case, I use Cabernet, two oranges, four whole cloves, three star anise, two cinnamon sticks, four cups of apple cider, and a quarter cup of honey. The recipe calls for one orange amount of orange juice. You can either use an electric juicer and cut the orange in half, which is quicker, or you can juice the orange by hand and cut the oranges into fourth. Once either of the oranges are cut, you're gonna begin the de-juicing process. For the hand-squeezed orange, take out any seeds that are visible before juicing and squeeze out the orange juice by hand. This is the easiest way that I've seen to de-juice an orange by hand. If machine juicing is the route that you're going, simply press both orange halves against the juicer. Make sure you have a large bowl available to dump in the one orange juice amount and all of the rest ingredients to let them marinate before heating. Next, take a grater and a fresh orange and de-zest half of the orange. Now that the orange has been de-zested, you may add your four cloves, three anise, and two cinnamon sticks. Now you may add your four cups of cider to the mix. Now you're gonna dump the full bottle of Cabernet into the mix. This will be the last step that you do before you heat the drink. Grab a pot that's large enough to hold all of the ingredients and place it on the stove. If you're working with an electric stove, I would set the temperature to around eight, but if you are working with a gas stove, I would do the temperature around medium. Once hot, you may now pour your mixture into the pot. If you're dealing with the type of honey that comes in a jar like mine, where you actually need a spoon to take the honey out, what I like to do is wait until there's a film on top of the ingredients like so. When I see that film, I know that the drink is hot enough to dip my spoon in honey and then swirl it around in the drink so that the honey falls off of the spoon very easily. So I tried my little concoction and it wasn't up to my standards. So I'm taking some of that box Pinot Noir and I'm adding a little bit of booze to my recipe. Once the drinks start bubbling, you wanna immediately take it off of the fire. If you don't, I'm just warning you, everything is gonna fly everywhere. So, you know, keep an eye on it. Let the drink cool down for 10 minutes, but while you're waiting, if you'd like to make your drink pretty, which I do, make yourself some orange peels. In this case, I'm gonna do two because there's two cups sitting in front of me. And then set them aside until you're ready to garnish your drinks. Now, since there are ingredients that we have used to make the malt wine that we might not necessarily want to drink, we're gonna use a strainer or a filter to make sure that none of those ingredients end up inside of our malt wine. Now we're gonna take those orange peels that we set aside and we're gonna use those any way we like to decorate the mold wine. Now I hope you all enjoyed this video. 
This recipe is one of the most easiest recipes that you'll ever do in the future. And plus, everything turned out delicious. So if you've never tried more wine before, I highly recommend it. It's a great drink to drink during the fall months, and it makes your house smell wonderful. Now, I thank you all again for joining me in this video. If you like what you saw, if you have any comments, concerns, or questions, or if you've tried out this recipe and you like what you tasted, feel free to comment everything below in the comment section. I always respond back. Again, thank you so much for joining me. I wish you all nothing but peace, love, fashion, beauty, and wine. Bye-bye. <laughs>